How are you today? Today we're going to talk about <clears throat> fear of success. Fear of success. It sounds like one of those things that you shouldn't be afraid of or you shouldn't have a fear related to that. You shouldn't have, you know, worries about that. I'm going to give you the solution to your fear of success and I want you to do this today. So if you can relate at all to having fear of success, put it in the comment box. Give me some love. Like, it, you know, share what the thought is that's holding you back as related to your success worries. So if you've been following along recently, I've been doing a five part series all on your fears and your blind spots. Check the description box. You'll be able to link up to the other trainings on this. So fear of success, one of the things this is very highly tied to is your worry about or your fear of other people's judgments of you. Other people's judgments of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. You see, when we have this fear of success, oftentimes it's because we are have some thinking about what success means. We have some thinking about what success looks like. We have some thinking about what those successful people are. We have some thinking about how long do I have to work? What is it going to take? We have some thinking about what will other people think? It's tied so closely to the fear of judgment. We have some thinking about like, who am I going to have to be? We have some thinking about what's hard work, work look like. So here's the solution for your fear of success is actually getting real with yourself on what success looks like. You see, I'm Mary Bicknell and I work with women all over the world, all around, you know, life balance, life coaching. I'm a business consultant for them. And with my life coaching clients and my business consulting clients, oftentimes it's the same issue. They say I have some fear of success, but in reality, they've never one time actually sat down to figure out what success looks like to them. In other words, they've never actually sat down and defined uh, their big dream, their big hope, their big desire. Well, you know, if you don't know what you're shooting for, you're, you're going to miss it every time if you don't have a target. If you don't have that dream in front of you, that goal in front of you, that desire in front of you, you're never going to get it. And so we think about like, oh, if I'm successful, what is success? So here's the solution for you. Today, I want you to think about what it is that you even are dreaming about. What it is, put it in the comments. What is your big dream? What is your big desire? It could be personally, it could be professionally. And if you don't know, that's a sign that you need to give yourself a day to sit down and get serious and real and give yourself permission. One of the other trainings we did on this topic is asking for permission. Give permission to yourself to dream big. What does that look like for you? What is your super huge big dream? So that's the first piece of this puzzle. The second piece of this puzzle and the second part of the solution is to define what does success even look like? What does success look like for you? Again, it's one of these things that uh, most of us, you know, we have this idea about what we think success should look like, could look like. Maybe we have this thing where it's like we're looking at social media and Sally Sue, oh my God, how does she get so far ahead? And this Jane over here, she's doing all this and you're thinking, shit, if that's what success looks like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be working all the time. I don't. What does success look like? You know, not just define it as far as, oh, I'm going to be the best seller. I'm going to be on Oprah. Like day to day, this is the solution. Ready? Define what you want. Give yourself permission. And then when you're writing down what success looks like, I want you to listen to all of those thoughts that come up because I bet you 50 bucks. They're not all your thoughts. They're your mom's thoughts, your sister's thoughts, your country's thoughts, your thoughts on looking at what everybody else is doing. What comes up for you when you, when I say this for you right now, ready? Oh my God, you're so successful. What happened right then? 
What was your reaction? What was your feeling? Because you see, when you're able to define success on your terms, that's a game changer. And let me give you another example. Like I ask people all the time, my business consultant um, clients, I'm like, how much money do you want to make? And if you're interested in more about money mindset, I want you to go to, and I'll put a link, I want you to go to my freebie Facebook group that is for bold, brave women ready to make shit happen. And we really go deep in all the psychology and we go deeper dive in this. I'll put a link so that you can actually join that group because we're going to so hard hit that money mindset piece. But let me get back to this. So defining success. So I say, well, how much money do you want to make? Let me tell you what they say. And I love thinking big. Like my brand is all about the a big, bold life and biz, right? That's my whole brand. Creating the regret-proof life, recognizing you have control over it. So they, they're like, I want to make $2 million. I'm going to make a million dollars. I want to make $500,000. And you see, they may never have made more than $100,000. And I'm all about making a ton of money because that buys you freedom. But what happens is when they have this goal, that's arbitrary. That's some number. Poop, they picked out of a hat that defines success. They think I want to be a millionaire. Sometimes that very un, uh, I don't want to say unrealistic, that very goal that they've established that really has no anchoring, no meaning to their big dream. Of course, it's going to sabotage their success. Of course, they're going to fear success because if you're, if you've never made more than a hundred thousand dollars a year, maybe you're transitioning your business. Maybe you're looking to get a new job. Oh my God. And then you're like, well, success for me means a million dollars a year. And, and that fear of success can kick in because all of the thinking you have around what it's going to take to make a million bucks. What is going to take to lose 20 pounds? What is going to take? So for you today, the solution is define what you want, like literally giving yourself permission and find that replay for asking for permission and define success, like logically without re- trying to remove the emotion, write down the thoughts that you're having. For example, success means, oh my God, I'm going to have to work all the time. So when you start writing these down, have a column, right? Thoughts about success. Put another column next to it and and ask yourself, is this the bold truth for me? I'm all about bold truth. Hashtag bold truth. Is this true for me? So, for example, um, uh, defining success. I have to work all the time. Is this true? Because maybe it's just you haven't learned a skill yet on how to develop your business. Um, I'm going to miss out on my kids. Is this true? Bold truth. Yes or no. I'm going to become one of those snobs. Like, oh, I'm so successful. All I have this money. Who, who's saying that? Is that your mom? Is that your sister? The who do you think you are? How is that wrapped up in fear of judgment? Remember, fear of judgment is the number one blind spot in fear women have. And what it, in the, the truth of the matter is, you know, we're human. And so we want community and connection. And so sometimes our fear of success is because we are afraid that we will leave people behind. We will eliminate people. We will grow past people. And here's the bold truth. You want to grow past people. There are people in your life that are just sucking the energy out of you, sucking you dry. But, you know, sometimes I'm not going to deny that as you're growing and as you're moving toward your success, once you've defined that, it might feel lonely a little bit. That's why I joined that Facebook group. I have another Facebook group for therapists who want to coach or people in the service industries, helping industries, therapists, coaches, natural paths, et cetera, et cetera. Because the truth is success, sometimes you will have to leave people behind. But the good news is this, there's a whole world, a whole tribe of people that get you, that got you, that are like cheerleading you on for your success. So it's true that maybe you're not going to talk to your girlfriend all the time about like, oh my God, I had a $20,000 a month because she's working some nine to five job, making 20 bucks an hour, 50 bucks an hour. She's not going to get it. 
But guess what? There's a whole world of us that are wanting success for you. I want success for you. Feel free to reach out to me. Put some comments here. Ping me on Facebook. Email me at mary at marybicknell.com. Jump on the phone with me. And let's talk about what success really means to you. What you need to do to take ownership of your success. What I can do to support you. And how I can help you find your tribe of people. So it's not going to feel lonely when you become successful. So that you can actually learn the tools of success and getting work done. So I could do a whole big course on this and we will. So uh, the solution is define your dream. Get out a piece of paper, put two columns. Success means, listen, what are all those thoughts? And then the other column, bold truth. Is it true for you? Because guess what, girl? You have the ability to create every single thing in your life that you want. That's what the Regret Proof Life is all about. That's what having a big, bold life in biz is all about. Recognizing you have the power, you have the control, be bold and go for it. This is Mary Bicknell and I will talk to you soon. Bye.